Hello, today's movie is the 1962 horror thriller Night of the Eagle, also known as Burn Witch Burn. It was directed by Sidney Hayes from a script by Richard Matheson, Charles Beaumont and George Baxt. The film stars Peter Wingard, Janet Blair and Margaret Johnston. A university psychology professor who advocates scepticism is horrified to learn that his wife is secretly practicing black magic in order to advance his career. But when he forces her to destroy her magical charms, his life quickly begins to unravel and malignant forces are released. He must discover who among the university faculty is using black magic against him, if he's to save his career, his life, and protect his wife from the evil forces that are closing in around them. This film has a number of interesting points to recommend it, um, two of which have to be its writers, Richard Matheson and Charles Beaumont, who were uh, among the greatest contributors to The Twilight Zone, among their many other achievements. Um, the other great thing this film has is, of course, the wonderful Peter Wingard. Night of the Eagle is a solid, entertaining and well-executed horror thriller. What I found really interesting about it was the way that it places a man at the centre of magical forces controlled by two women. Women are really the hidden powers in this movie. This is horror on a small scale. It's not like, you know, Dracula's terrorising a whole village. The stakes here are one man's life, his career, his wife. Um, and I feel like that small scale, that domestic scale, really adds a kind of dimension of claustrophobia to the film. Peter Wingard's college professor character in this movie is as muscular and dynamic physically as he is intellectual and it's his intense energy and total commitment to the reality of this situation that gives this film so much excitement and gives it so much dramatic momentum. He really gives his all here and he runs the complete gamut emotionally. It is a very impressive performance. Um, and I should add here that I'm a huge Peter Wingard fan. I love Jason King. I love um, Peter Wingard in The Innocence and so many other great roles that he plays. And I even am very lucky to have this uh, lovely signed photo of uh, Peter Wingard. It's one of my treasures. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, yeah, big Wingard fan. Night of the Eagle shows how well Peter Wingard could carry a film on his very broad and very muscular shoulders. And I do love the fact that um, he does look so fit here. Um, I really admire the fact that he was into working out long before it was cool. He was always ahead of the game in many ways. Janet Blair is effective as um, Peter Wingard's wife in the film Tansy. But if I have one qualm, it's that I felt her acting was in a slightly different style to his. And I don't know if that's a question of, you know, an American style versus a British style but I just didn't feel like her performance was on the same level of realism as Peter Wingard's. My other tiny qualm about the film is that the ending is quite abrupt. It just kind of comes to a stop and uh, it's not unsatisfactory. Um, and I guess the build up to that is very intense and very dramatic and exciting, but um, it does kind of end in a quite abrupt way. Night of the Eagle is an atmospheric, unusual and always interesting horror film showcasing the talents of its writers and Peter Wingard very effectively. I felt that its themes of witchcraft and horror on a domestic scale kind of prefigured films like uh, Hammer's The Witches, even Rosemary's Baby and something like the more recent Hereditary. I think this film is well worth a look if you enjoy horror on that smaller domestic type of scale and if you want to see uh, what Peter Wingard can do as an actor. He's really tremendously impressive in this. It's well-paced, thought-provoking and pretty exciting in parts. While perhaps not the best film ever made, it is a solid and enjoyable film. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.